I'm New Jersey Attorney General Grabeer Graywell, and I'm proud to team up with the NJSIAA to bring you this important message about the dangers of prescription opioids. So let's start with a fact. Last year in New Jersey, there were over 3,000 drug-related deaths, and most of those were caused by heroin or the dangerous synthetic opioid fentanyl. Listen, no one wakes up one day deciding to become a heroin user. Four out of five heroin users started by abusing prescription opioids. An addiction can start with the first dose. So if you do suffer a sports-related injury, be informed. Talk to your parents. Talk to your doctors. Talk to them about alternatives to prescription painkillers. We want you to be informed because we don't want you to become the next statistic. Quincy and Newell, wide receiver for the New York Jets. Um, yeah, I'd say that uh, football is very demanding. Uh, the injury rate is really high. I think that kind of is the reason why our careers don't last so long. You know, a lot of guys, uh, their career is max about two, three years. Um, you know, every day uh, you're at risk for an injury, whether it be a brain injury, uh, you know, knees, ankles, those type of things. Uh, we play a really physical sport, um, and the pads only protect us so much. Me personally, I've I've had uh, ankle injuries, um, and the biggest one I had was actually a neck injury. Um, ended up. Uh, with a herniated disc um, that got too far and I uh, had to have surgery. Obviously surgery was the first thing um, and it was really up to me if I wanted to take the opioids or not. Um, you know, it was obviously a thing where pain would be up to a tolerance, um, but it was really just for uh, if I felt like it was too far. Um, and so for me personally, I wanted to make sure that I did everything I needed to do personally without having to take the opioids because I knew that, you know, once you start opioids, there's a high risk to uh, not be able to stop them. Um, you know, you see a lot of people get addicted to it. Um, and for me, you know, I wanted to be able to men be mentally strong as well as physically strong uh, enough not to use the opioids. You know, I had the, the luxury to uh, not have to rush. So that also kind of helped me not kind of get addicted to opioids. Um, you know, I, I felt like I didn't have to rush myself to get healthy. Um, you know, I got injured before the season, so the months that I had to recover, um, I didn't feel like, okay, I need to pound these things to try to get back faster. And I think that's one thing that you should really focus on is make sure that your body is ready. Um, you know, don't rush it. Don't use out external factors to try to rush yourself to get back. You know, make sure that you're back 100% naturally. Opioids are medications that are used for pain that have been around for centuries. These are medicines that doctors prescribe for pain control after surgeries, traumas, car accidents. Medicines like oxycodone, Vicodin, Percocet, Narco. Similar medicines are also sold on the street as drugs of abuse, the most alarming of which is heroin. What starts out as just a few pills for a simple sports injury can lead to addiction and even death. Hi, I'm Heather O'Reilly, professional footballer for the North Carolina Courage. I've won many championships with the U.S. Women's National Team, Arsenal, the Olympic Team, and many other professional teams. I fractured both my legs, I've pulled a lot of muscles, and trust me, I do rehab on my ankles every single morning. One thing that I never did throughout all of these injuries was abuse opioids. When I was injured, I spoke to my doctors about different ways to relieve the pain so I didn't have to turn to opioids. I would do therapy, I would do physical therapy, I would do massage, I would do ice baths, I would do a lot of different things instead of automatically turning to prescription pain pills. It truly is not worth it. Your long-term health and well-being is so much more important. As frustrating as it is to not being able to be on the field during an injury, it's very dangerous to turn to opioids. In high school, I, just, I loved everything about football, the team aspect, um, games, like working out, spending time with the team, everything about it. And when I broke my collarbone was the first time that I actually went to a hospital and was prescribed opiates. I was playing field hockey and I went to stick my stick in to get the ball away from a girl shooting and um, she just came down right on my hand and smashed my hand. I know that they prescribed me Vicodin for that because I was in a lot of pain and, and I took one. I was on bed rest for about six months and eventually they just cut all the medication. It wasn't a taper point. It wasn't like we're gonna wean you down. It was just no more. And um, I was at home, I was sick, throwing up, 
I didn't know what was going on. And a buddy of mine that would play, like come over and when I was on bed rest, we would hang out. He said, you're withdrawing right now. That's, that's what's going on. And he said, here, take this. And um, that was the first time I shot heroin. It's all fentanyl today, it's not heroin. So it, it, even with cocaine, they're putting fentanyl in cocaine now. So you think you're doing cocaine and you wind up overdosing from, a, from fentanyl. It's really like any of it today is you don't know what you're getting. In a short period of time, it led to um, homelessness, overdoses, abscesses, um, home, robbing houses, other people's houses, um, all sorts of things that I normally wouldn't do if I weren't under the influence. Really, I wish that I never tried it that first time um, because that's what started the whole thing off, you know.